what we're going to talk about in this section is testing the 6 liter engine for cracks in the injector cup area. Nine times out of ten when you have diesel fuel in your coolant it's either a bad injector cup or it's a crack in the cylinder head. Okay, six liters have a problem in these areas, especially if they've been overheated, where fuel will get in the coolant. If you're getting fuel in your coolant bottle, nine times out of ten, you've got a crack in one of these areas. Now, what we're going to do here is I'm going to show you how to look for this. The first step of this process is to remove the cab as if you're doing the cylinder heads, just like in the uh, Master Mechanic series that I explained about removing the cab. Then the next step is to remove the valve covers and the injectors and, and of course the oil rail to get the injectors out so that you can see down into the injector cups. Now, now in the next step after we get the valve covers off is to pressurize the engine. Now how we go about doing this is that we put uh, uh, we block the upper radiator hose we block the lower radiator hose okay uh, we use you know spray cans and and uh, and uh, you know, uh, like this is the, the stuff that we use to uh, glue the oil pans on a 7.3, you know, for the upper one. Uh, we also have a hose that uh, hooks your heater hoses, the one heater hose back around to the, the heater hose that goes from the uh, line up to the coolant bottle. We block the upper hose, the return hose up here with a drill bit, and it goes to the radiator. And then we just hook the coolant bottle right back in its spot. You take it, you pressurize it up to, you know, this particular one we have up to about 20 psi, and then you you know, put some put some water in it, get it some water in it, uh, and then we pressurize it. Then we go here to the engine and look down in the injector cups and see if we see any water. Now that one's okay, but this one right here, if you look real close. If you look real close, right down there, you can see the drop of water forming right down there in the injector bore. Uh, this particular head has a hairline crack in that area. Sometimes it's just the injector cup where the cup sits in there, but lots of times it's a crack in this area. Unfortunately, the, there is no repair if you have a crack in these heads. Uh, you've just got to replace them. Uh, and, and that's kind of pricey. It can run the, the, the cost of a, of a of a head gasket job up considerably uh, for a head replacement. But then the procedure, of course, is to, to fix this is the same as replacing head gaskets. And, you know, we're going to install ARP studs and head gaskets and install one head, you know, replace the one head and have the other one rebuilt so he's got a full valve job on it and the truck will be ready to go back to work. But this is the procedure for finding that leak.